I'm Clint Emerson, retired Navy SEAL and author of 100 Deadly Skills, How to Survive Any Kind of Situation. Today, I'm going to teach you life-saving lessons. You hear shots fired. You're at work. You're at school. You're at home. There are books everywhere. You can use them to build improvised body armor. Ideally, you want to get books that are hardbound or hardback, as thick as possible, place them together nice and tight, and utilizing duct tape or any kind of tape, really, you're going to wrap them up nice and tight. I've done some tests on these, and a 9 millimeter round will stop with just two books. Ideally, you have ceramic tiles that go in between the two books. Ceramic displaces the energy of the projectile like no other material out there. Obviously, in a dangerous situation, you're not going to stop to build something like this. If you have time, great. Otherwise, grab books and hold them up if the shooter comes your way and shield yourself, and that's it. Improvised body armor. Let's say you're at an ATM and suddenly a man comes up from behind and puts a barrel of a gun into your spine. First, if he's demanding your money, demanding your wallet, go ahead and give it all up and hope that he goes on his merry way. There's nothing that you have that's more important than your life. But if he doesn't, here's something that you can do. So I'm at an ATM, I've given this guy everything I've got, he's not going away, violence is on his mind, now I have to do something to increase odds of survivability. So, hands up. Hey, I've given you everything I got, please don't do this. When I do that, I'm just looking to see which hand he has the weapon in. He's right-handed, which then gives me the blueprint on what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna use my left arm as I rotate in, rotating my arm down, trapping the gun. Number one rule get control of the weapon. His hand is a fist around that gun. He cannot pull his hand out, even if he tried. Now, if he drops the gun, which would be good, the blade of that hand might be able to slip past. As soon as you whip around, gain control of the weapon, you can do a lot of things right here. You can strike him in the throat, take his air away. Go straight to the face, your fingers, if they can reach, go into the eyes, his chin back, and then you drive him down. I can drive him forward, I can trail, arm bar, and then rotate, trail up, and then take his weapon, muzzle strike him, shoot him, or run. We've just touched on some of many skills that are out there to learn. There is no right, no wrong. It's all about being prepared. 